Guys, I'm back. Well, here we are with the nerve roots. At this point, if you haven't started drawing brachial plexus, take a quick moment and go ahead and do it. And you may pause this video to start <laughs> drawing it out. Uh, assuming you've already drawn out the brachial plexus, however, you'll notice at the very end you have your different nerves. Musculocutaneous, axillary, radial, median, and ulnar. And you're thinking to yourself, how the heck am I going to remember all of these different nerve roots? Well, that's what the whole point of this video is, is I'm going to show you a little mnemonic that at the very least will get you in the ballpark. As far as specifics go, definitely check with whatever your professor told you, do what they told you, but this is kind of what helped me along the way. So go ahead and hold your left hand in front of you with the computer screen in front of you and your left hand right next to it, just like how I have the model. You can either label your fingers like I do sometimes, or you can just hold out your left hand with your thumb being C5, your pointer finger C6, middle finger C7, ring finger at C8, and your little pinky finger as T1. These are all of the uh, nerve roots or your Randy to your Randy Travis drinks cold beer. So now that we have our nerve roots and then we have our different muscle or we have our different nerve names, we're going to go through a mnemonic that helps me for test day whenever it comes to the nerve roots for them. The mnemonic is three musketeers assassinated five rats five mice, and two unicorns. And I don't have a video to show you exactly which fingers I'm pointing to, but I'm just going to use my mouse. So three musketeers. Hold up these three fingers, your C5, your C6, and your C7 finger. That makes up the nerve roots for musculocutaneous. So your three musketeers. Musk, musculocutaneous. Assassinated. Now this one kind of doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but go ahead and hold up your thumb and your index finger. Makes kind of like, a, I guess, the old school fashion, like, I think, is it Texas, Texas Tech that uses the single finger? Either way, or OSU. I'm not sure which one. Anyway, just make the, the symbol kind of like a, a, a gun symbol. That's for your assassinated or your axillary nerve. So once again, we have our three musketeers, C5, C6, C7, assassinated, C5, C6. On to the next one. Five rats, five mice. Easy. That's all five fingers. So your radial nerve, or your rats, makes up your C5, your C6, C7, C8, and T1. Your five mice, or your median nerve, is also C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1. Now, I may have misspelled unicorns here, <laughs> so sorry about that, but... Um, for unicorns, instead of the top two fingers, like in muscul or in axillary, you're going to use the bottom fingers, or the oddball fingers. That's why it's two unicorns. Because I can't tell you how many situations I've actually used these two fingers in conjunction and not used the other ones. So therefore, ulnar is the weird one. It gets C8, and it gets T1. So recounting, we have three musketeers, C5, C6, C7, assassinated, C5, C6 for axillary, five rats, five mice, C5 through T1, and then ulnar, our two unicorns, our C8 and our T1. That's all of the nerve roots for your marmu. As far as the rest of the brachial plexus, the only one that I can think of of major significance that you should for sure know is C5, C6, C7, wings to heaven. That one goes to your long thoracic nerve, and that will present with winged scapula. So C5, C6, C7, wings to heaven, and that's your long thoracic nerve. The other ones, you just got to take time and run through it. If I knew fancy mnemonics to memorize those nerve roots, I would have told you. So good luck, everyone.